So let's look at one of what is probably many ways of, of adding a label onto uh, an object. Uh, let's just create a cube. I just have a sky for the lighting. Let's go ahead and create a new corona material. Drop it onto the cube. Let's make the cube editable. Now let's move over to customization. Layouts, BP, UV, edit. And the first thing I'm going to do for this is uh, give it a UV map. So I'm going to select either of these two options. Uh, and in this mode, these become available. You can see up here the various um, effects of uh, applying texture that way. I'm just going to use box. I'm not going to go into the depths of uh, UV unwrapping. There are plenty of Cinema 4D tutorials out there for that. It's uh, purely a Cinema 4D issue, so I'm uh, not going to explore that. Just going to use my simple box mapping. Okay, uh, what I am going to do is uh, enable this material for editing. Just select the materials tab and click here for it to be able to body paint on it. I am actually going to do file, new texture, and we'll stick with the defaults. You can make it larger if necessary. Okay, and here we are. Um, I have my box layout superimposed on that. Uh, if I change to one of these modes, um, that's the one I can turn on and off here. But what I actually want to do is have that show up uh, as a, a layer in the uh, texture. If I pop into layers, you can see right now I have just one background layer, solid grey colour. So let's do layer, create UV mesh layer. And that gives me my layout of the box, uh, which I can turn on and off as a layer in body paint. And with this done, let's go ahead and save this texture as a Photoshop file. I'm just going to call it BP UV Test. Now what I'm going to do is pop on over to my material and I'm going to load in that uh, BP UV Test. And uh, you can see it's in the viewport. It is of course grey and uh, let's just uh, load it back in here. Uh, it's just grey with uh, the... Uh, oh, that didn't, it's not what I meant. Hang on. Open texture. Grab that. And uh, I'll just turn that off. So it's just the grey with the white. It's not very high resolution. We can change that if I uh, up the preview to uh, let's make it match the size on disk. And now I can open that up in Photoshop, so let's go ahead and do that now. And let's just update it back to that version. And I have my same two layers that I had in Body Paint. Uh, and now I can go ahead, if I want, and edit this in Photoshop any way I like. So let's um, grab the Corona logo and paste it in there. So I could move and resize the Corona logo and place it using my UV mesh layout to uh, have a good guess where it's going to go, but um, in this instance I'm going to save it exactly like this. Pop back into Cinema and do uh, Revert Texture to Saved. And here's my changed texture. Now, sometimes it doesn't update in the viewport. Let me see if I can convince it to uh, update in the viewport. Not sure why it does that. Let me see. Maybe if I... Okay, it's loaded back in there. Maybe if I just force a reload. Okay, there we go. Took a while for that to update, but we got there. So now what I can do is... I can use this transform bitmap. I make sure I have the layer select that I want. Transform bitmap. Let's use scale. I'm going to hold down shift and left click and drag. And that lets me scale it proportionately. And as you can see, I can now um, lay this out where I want it to go on my model. I don't actually want the edges highlighted in white, so let's just turn off that layer. Um, 
and then let's apply. I'm quite happy with that. Um, and if I do file save the texture, and then if I reopen it in Photoshop, just for an update, you'll see Photoshop now has that changes because it still has the layer though. So uh, that's ideal if I then want to, <coughs> to, excuse me, if I want to go and use this as a mask so that I can adjust reflectance or add bump, I can work from this Photoshop file to generate that. So right now I'm just adding the labels if it was uh, color in the diffuse channel. But from this I can produce masks that I can use to make this metallic and the rest of the object non-metallic or similar. Um, pop back in here. And of course I could... Uh, duplicate the layer, and I can move it, uh, I can decide that this one should be rotated, again that's the transform bitmap, rotate, if I hold shift it'll rotate in steps, uh, oop. let's uh, do that again, I managed to uh, Managed to mess that up. I was wanting to move it and hadn't disabled the rotate, so let's rotate it in steps. Let's apply. I'm back into move layer and I can adjust that where I want it to go. Uh, and of course, it's uh, it's body paint, so uh, we do uh, a new layer and it means we could actually go ahead and uh, paint onto uh, our object if we wanted to. Uh, and I can turn that on and off. Uh, so that's one way that you can position the label exactly where you want it. Um, save it out as a Photoshop file of a, of a TIFF file, and you could use that to create masks uh, that match up with uh, where you've positioned the uh, diffuse channel mm -hmm. in order to uh, create uh, different materials. So, make, so you can make your label, your decal, a different material um, than the ones around it. And indeed, here's a quick test, and um, just render it out. I have a mask I created from the uh, PSD, um, which just looks like uh, that. I have um, loaded that into the refraction color. I have uh, loaded the same map into reflection, so the glass is shiny, but the label is not. And of course, I have the original PSD loaded in as my uh, diffuse color. So that's one way of applying labels onto objects in Cinema 4D using Corona for Cinema 4D. Thank you.